Today is April 12th, 2016. This is a litter of 14 Sheepadoodle puppies out of our Gracie Old English Sheepdog and RG Standard Poodle, both AKC registered. And our little Titus, we moved him over here because Gracie is doing a little bit better in tending to him and he's starting to gain weight. He's actually a sheepdog from Ruthie's surprise litter that was born three days before this litter. Um, they were born on the, the, Titus's litter was born on the 6th. This litter was born on the 9th. Okay. Um, anyway, we have seven girls and seven boys in our Sheepadoodle litter. Uh, gone are the days of me attempting to memorize all of the ID names. They still are very helpful in that I think that they personalize the puppies, but it is also very helpful in me as far as record, with for me as far as record keeping. But um, to save time and my brain, I'm going to just identify the puppies by their collar colors, which are noted next to their pictures. Um, I did my best to update them today. I'm not sure they're the best photographs, in addition to which they're sloppy from just having eaten their slop. So uh, not exactly the cleanest puppies in the world, but hey, they're still puppies. All right, this is our red girl. All right, we have started the selection process, so anybody that's been anticipating a uh, video or updated photos, we're trying to get that taken care of today after having some computer issues yesterday um, of both of these litters. Both litters had 14 puppies, no losses, no stillborns. We do have a couple runs, as I mentioned, a little Titus two there, and um, then we've got one that I would kind of consider our little run. This is our little dark pink girl. Um, not sure what color collar I initially noted on her, but I'll double check that and change it. Um, anyway, she's growing really, really well. She's actually befriended her little uh, stepbrother, Mr. Titus too. So they kind of stay together. She's got beautiful markings on her, but she is a little bit smaller, has more of a poodle nose by the appearance of it. I think her, uh, her little blaze here kind of <laughs> helps to narrow her face to the way her markings are but she's a very, very pretty puppy and eats like a little pig. All right, now this is our dark blue collared boy. All right. He's pre predominantly uh, tuxedo, traditional um, Old English Sheepdog markings. Okay, he's also one of our bigger boys. I hope I don't miss anybody, guys. I don't have a checklist. I'm just gonna do the best I can. All right, this is the black collared boy. And he's also the one that has, it is not a dock tail. Uh, obviously with 14 puppies in that belly, that was a little bit of uh, no room to be spared. And I'd say he got his little crook in his tail, which makes him special. See, I'm special. Yeah. Um, and so he's our black collared boy. Nothing wrong with his tail. I didn't discover it until he was about a week old. Uh, by then it would have been too late to dock it. It does look dock, but it is so cute because it's just a real little crook. We had one in one of our puppies before like that in a large litter a uh, year or so ago. And our vet did look at it and say there was no problem with it. Okay, this is our orange collar girl. Now she's already been chosen. Okay, she was just playing with the toy. And let's see, this is our yellow collared girl, I believe. Yes, our yellow collared girl. And there is our light green collared boy. Now I don't remember which one Palm is offhand by colors. I should since I just took their pictures, but um, I wasn't looking at the names. I was just noting pictures and weight. I mean, uh, collar colors and weights. Um, but Palm is already chosen, okay. All right, pink. Looks like we're not going to be applying a breeder's um, hold this time around. Uh, I thought we were, but um, anyway, it's just, it didn't work out. Okay, um, light pink collar. Okay, there she is. What do we got here? There's somebody sleeping over there. Okay, this is our light blue collared boy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I hear ya. I hear ya. All right, this is our gray collared boy. That might be Palm, but I just cannot remember for sure. There's our little Titus too, eating like a pig. 
Not a sheep -a doodle that is an Old English Sheepdog from Ruthie and Max. Their surprise litter. Okay, dark blue. Who's over here sleeping? Oh, this is our brown boy. Okay, here he is. I'm going to give you a wide range of the puppies. They're kind of tired now because I've had them out for pictures. And um, oh, this is our red and white collared girl. She's got a cute mask. What? That's our light pink girl jumping up on my lap, barking at me, aren't you? Huh? No blue eyes in this litter, just so you know. Okay, uh, dark blue. There's our brown. Oh, I know I'm sure I'm missing somebody. There's 11 puppies in this litter. There's red. What are you doing? You're a sauce pot, aren't you? Huh? You're a sauce pot. That's light pink again. There's our dark pink, our little girl. Who's just being so patient? This is the black collared boy. Yes, with our little crook in the tail. He's, yeah, I'm the special boy. I think one of our girls has a slight crook, but you can hardly tell. I only catch it. I think it actually might be this one. Yes, our red and white girl. So it was crowded in there, wasn't it? Huh? It's a good thing Gracie's a big doggy, although Ruthie's about half her size and she had 14 puppies too. Yes, she did. All right, this is gray. How'd you get over here? I thought I had you over there on the other side. Okay, light green. There's our tiny little Titus. Isn't he cute? Yeah. He's a fighter, and he is starting to gain weight. He was kind of stagnant there for a while and had me a little concerned, and I was supplementing him again. Um, but uh, the problem was the sheepdogs are a little bit more aggressive in the litter, and they are a little bit bigger than even the sheep -a doodles right now, and they were kind of beaten up on him. I don't think with the intent of really hurting him, but as you can see by this playful little girl, the orange girl, um, which I think her name's Bonnet, but anyway, uh, you can see that um, as they get bigger and start wanting to play, I don't think they realized how much bigger than he they were, and they play a little bit rougher than these guys, so they've been really kind to him. Um, they sleep with him, wrap him up, and Gracie has been allowing him to nurse where Ruthie kind of changed her routine. We're actually in the process of weaning her off. Um, and she was sitting up or standing up and he could not reach where the other ones could. And she stopped paying, giving him special attention like she did in the first couple of weeks. Okay. His little sister, though, the pink collared girl, is doing really, really well. She was big enough to keep up with her sibling. I know, I see you. That's light pink again. I know, there's red and white. Yeah, there's orange. Getting up in my lap. Yes. There is red. Yeah, there's dark blue. There's orange. <laughs> You're so funny. And there's dark pink. There is yellow sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping. Okay, I'm going to get up and give you a wider range of all the puppies together. And uh, at this point, hopefully you can make out who's who. Okay, there's our black collared boy uh, right there, and he ha he's the one with the little crook in his tail. It looks like it's crop, but it's not. There is an end on it. It's just like a little crook. It's so cute. All right, there's a mm, light pink girl. Okay, I think I have a purple girl. Aha, purple, purple. Yeah, I think we left you out because I don't remember saying purple, but that's her right there. Okay, there's our brown. And I think this is our green. I'm not sure I even mentioned green. I'm glad I stood up because I think I did leave out a couple of them. Sure didn't seem like I went through 14 puppies. There's our little girl. Her markings are gorgeous. Okay. Say, we're sorry, we're so dirty, but we like to get our face, our feet, and everything into our sloppy food. And little Titus. Yeah, he's over there with the light green boy. He's wanting to play. But they are so much, they do play with him, but they are much, much more gentle than the Old English. I was really starting to worry about him. So this has worked out good. So Gracie's been a good substitute mommy for him. I'm very proud of her. 
She's probably only gonna have one more litter for us, possibly a back-to-back -back litter for this year. And then it's, I think, time for Gracie to retire. She's our biggest old English sheepdog. She's even bigger than our boys. And she uh, came to us from Jody Sherrier, a friend in Colorado. And uh, we've been very, very pleased with our Gracie as part of our program and her puppies. All right. So hopefully I did get everybody and you've kind of gotten a chance to see them moving around. See that red collar, feisty. And there's our little black boy. He's a he's a nut. That pink girl finally decided to go to sleep, but she's a feisty little girl. Orange is of course chosen. There's our green. And our light green. Who's here at my feet? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, that's light blue. He's got gorgeous markings too. Yeah. There's our red. One of them's red and white, and sometimes I can't see the white, so, but that's the red. There's the red and white. Yeah. And she's the one with the tiny little crook in her tail. Not quite as noticeable as our black boy. Okay. Honestly, I think somebody told me that a crook in the tail was good luck. Not that I would necessarily acknowledge luck, but um, somebody I think told me that one time. Everything different always seems to represent good luck, huh? Okay. So once again, our sheep -a doodle puppies. Um, as far as our selections, not sure. This is, of course, Lalpadoodle Canine Manor. You can find information about this litter and upcoming litters uh, on our website, www.lawpdoodlek, the number nine manor, M A N O R dot com. Uh, or email us at lpdk9manor08 at gmail.com for more information uh, about this litter and our litter of Old English Sheepdogs. We do have a few, I believe, uh, unassigned in that litter. Um, and so if you might be interested in one of our Sheepdogs, we did not dock the tails. So they actually look very similar to our sheep -a doodles uh, but they are um, purebred Old English Sheepdogs. Okay, but it was an unplanned litter, and hopefully Ruthie's last hurrah. We can keep her contained, but whew, man, what an escape artist. She showed up at my front door yesterday, and we still haven't figured out how she got out of the kennel. She already tore up another screen on my um, nursery. She's determined, but she is a sweetheart. Okay. Thank you very much for viewing our puppies. Hope you enjoyed their first video. Um, I'll probably get another video, but based on their uh, excitement now, I'm not sure that I can get more uh, individual photos, but I did do, I did attempt the best I could today. Okay, I just wanted to kind of let you watch them as they're playing. And I don't have, I can't see through the viewfinder who's who at this point, but. All right, their mom's been out long enough, so I need to go let her back in. I've been drinking water over there. Okay, thank you, and God bless.